Atlanta style caramelized onions. Hi, I'm Kim Weber with the Gimpy Gourmet. In this episode, we're going to be making what is one of the essential building blocks to a lot of good recipes. We're going to be making caramelized onions. And I'm going to show you a really quick way to make caramelized onions that I learned from watching the Food Network when there were the barbecue pitmasters on and I'm going to give you a secret from some barbecue pitmaster from Atlanta that I don't remember his name or I'd love to credit him because it's a really genius idea. safety guard for this and I would advise to always use this because this blade right here is sharp so and I'm not putting my fingers anywhere near it by itself so anyway take you take the, the guard get the spikes out you drill into whatever it is you're using and then pressing down so that your onion stays close to the blade. Notice I'm keeping my left hand on this stand back here to the left of the mandolin because I want to keep it stable. And there, in about 30 seconds, you've sliced two onions on your OXO mandolin. Here's what you've got. Two small onions sliced really thin and they're here ready to be added to caramelized onions. So what I would say is this is a very effective, very cost effective tool. It's going to save you time, it's going to save you money, it's going to save you energy if that's a, a problem for you. It is for me. So what I would suggest you is get yourself an OXO mandolin and you'll not be disappointed. Yeah. So anyway, what I've got in this skillet, I've got two tablespoons of butter one tablespoon of olive oil and it's melted. To that, I'm going to add three small onions cut into thin pieces and then separate into rings. And this, I'm, I don't usually use an onion this small, so usually it's kind of a two large onions or something like that, but these were pretty little. They were like baseball size instead of softball size. They're tiny. But it's winter time, so you know. But anyway, what you do is you put these in into your butter and your oil mixture. You go ahead, you season them a little bit. You can adjust that heat just a little bit. And adjust the heat up and down. Don't burn your onions and your oil. And anyway, um, season them with a little salt. And we're going to add to them, you know, to taste in a little bit, if you're wondering where the pepper is. In a little bit, we're going to add some, I like red pepper flakes in these 
um, I think it gives them a good bite, a little zesty kick, and but that that's your taste. You might like white pepper in them. You might like regular fresh ground black pepper. There's lots of different things. I just happen to like the red pepper flakes because I use these for a lot of different things. I use them in a lot of different recipes. I have a short rib recipe, which I'll be sharing with you soon. It takes caramelized onions. I make a tomato pie that takes caramelized onions. And the most common thing that I really enjoy putting them with is I make a quesadilla that's apple and caramelized onion and shredded Mexican style cheddar cheese on a flour tortilla grill on the George Foreman grill. So look around in a little bit that recipe will be up and it's really easy and really worth it. And every time I make it, people are like, oh, this is a great order, which it is. So there is nothing exciting about, you know, the cooking of these, what's exciting about them is what you can do with them. It takes a long time, it's about 20 minutes. That's why it's a good idea to bake a stash of them. Because like I say, they're a building block. So what I'm gonna do now is season them with just a few red pepper flakes. Or as Lydia Bastion called them, pepperoncino. So that's what we'll call them too. We'll put the pepper in there, stir that around a little bit. Then it's time for the secret weapon, the Coca-Cola. I don't cook much with Coca-Cola, but this is the one time that I think it's essential because this will save like 30 minutes of more cooking time. It helps your onions to caramelize. You get a good brown color on them. And it gives them a good sweet taste. So it's worth it. So you can, you can probably see it sizzling up here. So let me take care of that. And then we'll be back with you. And be back with you when that's done. So I added an additional little splash of cocoa just to help it kind of cook down a little more. Um, the heat I've got at about, I'd say a medium. I had, at one point I had it at kind of a medium to high and then I turned it down when the onions started really, you know, cooking down. So I'm going to turn, if you hear, on your sound, if you think you hear a fan, if you do, the little induction eye that I use to prepare on this surface has a fan in it. We're back. But here you have it. Atlanta style caramelized onions with a little splash of Coca-Cola. So we hope you enjoyed the time you spent with us on the Gimpy Gourmet. We hope that you'll make this recipe and keep a stash of these caramelized onions in your refrigerator. They'll come in handy. They keep for about a week after you make them. And you can use them so many different ways. You'll find out that they're an incredibly versatile condiment. So we'd like for you to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel so that you'll hear from us and we can let you know when we've got a new video up. And as Warren Zevon said, enjoy every sandwich. Just be true and all that sweet stuff comes back to you. The apple of somebody's eye Be that